What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Oh, old Fred, sit, sit. Whoa, whoa, dude, whoa. Sit, and old Fred, I think he knows what's gonna happen. Like I've been, uh, like I've been saying, Fred's getting ready to go to the trainer, aren't you, buddy? Yeah, I know, I know, it'll be good for you. He has created some off-season habits that we got to get kicked before this season gets here. Now, I'm really excited for today's video, and hey, I'm glad y'all are here. We got some chores to do first. Uh, we got to put the SD cards back in the trail cams out back. And while we're back there, I gotta throw down some more corn. I've been out for quite some time and I needed some pigeon bait for the traps, which that reminds me, we're gonna go check the pigeon traps uh, here after a while. Long story short, I went yesterday, I scouted out my area, uh, the business building, you know, where I sit the pigeon traps on down in the heart of town. Basically, I scouted it and the pigeons were everywhere. They're a flock in the building. I haven't had the traps baited. I baited them yesterday. There's a lot of young pigeons, lots of them. It's spring, spring's just now getting here. A lot of babies are out flying about and this is when you really trap them, y'all. So that's gonna be the last thing we do, but we need to put the SD cards in the cameras. We need to bait the corn pile again. because so I want to uh, get some more trail cam pictures of the deer and whatever else is around. And then this here, we got some new bird feed for the pigeon loft. Now, yes, videos are coming. We're building a pigeon loft and a chicken coop, but we gotta go feed the pigeons. I've been feeding them this and they've been loving it. So what we're gonna do is use this as bait as well up on top of the building for the pigeon traps. But before we get into today's video, y'all, if you guys want to help support the channel, uh, the biggest thing that you can do, the most impact that you can do is head on over to DucksWaterfowl.com. I'll link it all down in the description. Check out this shirt. Boom, this is our Black Lab shirt. She is sweet. And no, this is not a Ducks t-shirt of the month. This is just a casual design that we have on the website for sale at all times. We got a lot of casual t-shirts over there. So again, every one of your guys' purchase, it helps me bring you guys more of these videos. I mean it. If it wasn't for Ducks and you guys purchasing it, this channel would not still be here. So thank you all so much. It is time to head on back North 40. Get this in the North 40. I love calling it the North 40. Get this bait thrown down and then after we're done with this we're gonna head to the old house i'm gonna show you guys uh actually i gotta check and see if we have any babies we could have some fresh hatchlings straight out of the eggs so we gotta check that come on good boy that's a good boy freddy right there oh god oh i was wondering how i was getting wet ah, thanks man now i don't think i'm gonna put out the whole bag but oh uh, well, yeah what i am gonna do I'm gonna spread it around a lot because one thing I've learned about the deer that come through, man, they eat this stuff up in a hurry. And I mean in a hurry. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be really casual about how much I put out here at a time and just keep them around rather than just constantly feeding them. You know what I mean? There we go, that camera is ready to go. Got some good deer back on the property. Got some coyotes. Keep them around, see what we can find, you know? Well, we are here, in fact. Uh, I switched it up a little bit. Originally, I said we were gonna go feed the pigeons next, but I wanna get up here. I wanna check it out. I have a really good feeling about this. It's pigeons are literally flying everywhere. You can tell. Um, one thing about pigeons this time of year, they come out of uh, nests. All the babies are out of the nest and they are flying. So the first round of baby feral pigeons are out and about and they're easily intrigued by the traps. So that's a big reason why it hasn't been working. Uh, the parents during the winter had to go get food and bring it back to the babies in the nest. They were busy. They weren't worried about traps. They weren't intrigued. They had a job to get done. Now we got a bunch of really adolescent pigeons flying around so here we go i got the bait i got the corn and in the bottom i got that good stuff milo some sunflower seed action oh yeah let's get up there well here we are we're up here let's check it out let's cross our fingers hopes we got something oh i knew it check it out y'all Look at that. Two of them. That's what I figured. We got two. 
<laughs> oh, that's awesome. I've been waiting to trap them. Here comes one right here. Look at this. Well, that's a pretty one. That's a, ooh, that's an auburn. A really light auburn. That's a red pigeon with white wings. Ooh, that's a beauty. <laughs> Feels good to get back into the pigeon trap and two feral birds they both look pretty young like i was talking about let's check them out here here's our first one. Oh, come here buddy here's our first one. Oh, he's not too young that's a pretty big bird he's not that young yeah it's really adult eyes decently mature bird let me look at your legs yeah i'd say he's a year two years maybe i don't know three years that's a rather old bird he looks pretty mature too. I'm gonna to put him on the bucket. I have y'all on the bucket. All right, second bird. He's a gray bird. He's a really pretty, pretty bird. Check him out. Oh, check him out. Check his color. Oh my God. He is banded. <laughs> Oh, that's not a racing band. Oh, I'm trembling. 030, that's a clip-on band. Check it out. That is the first band I have ever trapped. Look at him, he's a real pretty bird too. Real gray, blue check, but a real light color. Holy cow, decent age on him. He's a feral bird, he's not a homer. He must have. Uh, he must have came from someone else's feral loft. I bet you he's a breeding bird. Just like my loft, I bet you he's a breeding bird. I have never seen these bandsies. It's got some wear on it, check it out. Check this out, y'all. Here it is, zero, three, zero. Check that out. I'm trying to get it to focus. 030, it's a clip-on band. That is somebody's feral bird. I'm guessing just like Jordan's, just like Jordan's loft, which he doesn't have yellow bands. I think his, his are like white, I believe. They're not that color and they have different colored text. Wonder whose bird that is. That's still really cool. Uh, I've always wanted to trap a band, but dude, he's a strong bird. Um, but it's not a racing band for sure. It's, it's a clip on someone's, someone's feral birds. It's just like the birds that we have, but that is not our bird. That is not our band. If y'all are from around my area and you're watching this, is this your bird? Drop a comment down below. Uh, that would be really cool to find out whose bird this was. Again, a yellow band, gray text, zero three zero. That's wild. Let's put you in there real quick, buddy. Uh, there, you, there you go, there you go, whoa, whoa. He is a feisty bird. Well, I don't wanna keep these in here too long. Uh, I, I wanna get them back to the truck. Um, we usually take our feral pigeons that we trap like this on the roof. We usually take them back to Jordan's, but since we're already going to my old house to feed those pigeons in my old little loft, I guess we'll just put these two birds in there and I'll show you uh, the bands that we have on our pigeons and show you that they're not the same. Someone else, I don't know of anybody else, but two guys, Dylan and Jordan, that have feral lofts around me. There must be a lot more. Now, before we get a lot of hate of is this somebody's pet? The guys, you guys seen last year when I first got my pigeons, I lost one of my really, really pretty ones and he was already banded. He was a black and white bird with a lot of pied belly going on. This is just a normal blue check, but he's really, really light gray. So it comes from a loft. I bet you it was a breeding bird, but no, it wasn't someone's expensive pet, but it was kind of like my birds. I mean, they are a pet to some extent. I mean, my gosh, if, if it's yours, let me know. He's still alive and I have him. See if I can get some bait out without letting our pigeons. No, 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 easy. Put some bait in here real quick. That ought to do it. Just a little bit is quite enough. That is insane. Well, here is uh, our second trap. 
and there is nothing in this one thing about it man she's bare with bait it got real windy last night and uh, it was a south wind sure enough this trap gets nailed with a south wind that south just comes in here and sweeps it all the good thing about the other trap is that during a south wind we have a really good wind block right here so this right here awesome south wind it blocks it so a lot of our food really don't blow away that bad out of this south trap so i wish we had a good wind block for the south winds especially spring coming around we're gonna have a lot of high winds from the south a lot of storms so now that i know pigeon trapping is popping off uh you guys have to let me know uh how much i know you guys like these videos but how much do you like them uh do you want to get creative with me i got a few ideas right here in the corner i'm thinking a long net or a rope type net put out a bunch of bait and we net them by hand okay that's idea number one number two and we can't do it here we'd probably have to do it on a pigeon hunt is buying a rocket net now i need to look into the legalities of a rocket net but i'm sure if you're in the country and, and you can use it for probably anything especially nuisance pest birds invasive birds so probably can't use it for a goose or something like that i wouldn't want to but for pigeons it'd be a lot of fun if you guys have any video ideas for up here on the roof or any other pigeon videos or starling or anything you want me to do especially up here y'all especially up here which i'm going to try to get on some more buildings but this one's always been a prime pigeon just traffic way this is a hub this is where they roost this is where they nest this is where they stop to get a drink because this rooftop it holds water really well after a decent rain so i'm done babbling let me know your ideas and if you like this video smash the thumbs up button let's get this video rolling two or three thousand likes would be great that would tell me that you guys want more well we're gonna put these guys in our transportation cage y'all remember this little guy it is uh the cage that jordan built us last year don't go crazy dude Oh, he's going crazy. He about got out. Whoa. These feral birds, they're crazy. This guy's a lot more tame. He just acts like he came from a loft, obviously. Wonder how long he's been out of the loft. May always makes you wonder. It'd be awesome to get the information on that bird. But he's not a banded registered uh, racing bird. If he was a like a true racing bird, He'd have what they call a uh, like an AU band or a organization band with their organization, a phone number, some numbers that go with it. Uh, basically, the numbers tell what loft they come from, who the owners are. But this is just a uh, feral clip-on. That's all it is. It's the same thing that uh, Jordan and I have in our lofts. Uh, it's definitely local. Someone else around here. Well, we are here at the old house. And here are our new pigeons. Look at them. It's all right, it's all right. Good looking guys. I cannot believe that banded bird. He's a pretty bird. Awesome color. My goodness. So insane, so crazy. Well, first, before we put our new guys in here, let's check out what's going on in here. And right here, we got two eggs. Those are Mama Whitebird's eggs good looking birds so as you can see right there i have white bands and that one over there he's got a blue band i definitely do not have banded birds with numbers on them mine are just colored over here what all we got going on is a lot right here we got two eggs and then in the corner we got another one but yeah these ones they are producing like crazy got to get them over to the house here's my idea I'm gonna move the entire old loft to the new house. And the reason why is because it's a great little breeding house. My idea is, is to take off this wall right here and then just extend it longer at the new house. If y'all think that's a good idea, drop a comment down below and let me know. But that's gonna be, that's gonna be the game plan right now, I think, because I like this. They breed well in it, gets them out of the wind. It's already built and it's in pretty darn good shape. Some new screws, a little bit of room added on. It'll be a new beauty. Well, here we go. Your new home for now until we get you to the new house. Just gonna let them fly up here. 
Come on, buddy. There he goes. And secondly is our banded bird. This is awesome. Man, I cannot believe it. Yes, it'd be really cool if we trapped a racing bird, which we could actually get back to the owner, but this, never know. The owner might come a call and we can get this bird back. Who knows? Go on, buddy. Go on. Yeah, go, go. There you go. There we are. All in here, we are full. Uh, right now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten birds. So we are full here. We have to get this to the new house as soon as possible. And like I said, we're going to extend this wall probably another at least six foot. We'll give them a lot more flying room. I'll build a lot more perches on it so they can get spread out through it. We're building those as we speak. So be expecting the videos here real soon, y'all. So here she is. Here is Mama. She's pretty skittish. Look how pretty she is. Good looking bird. That's her new baby. Look how pretty he is. Two of my prettiest birds I have, you know, other than the white ones. Them. And then my whites. Just gorgeous birds. I do have that red one there too. We got a lot of color going on. But let's check on our new birds here. They've been in here for about 10 minutes. Check them out. They're right there. They're both perched together. Oh, no. See, I have an orange band there. That's my old bird. He's got the age on him. That's old, that's old Clark right there. That is Clark. What's up, Clark Griswold? How are you today? But our newly banded bird is actually right behind him there. We got to get him a name. Come on, everybody drop a comment. We got Clark. Let's name this one. Drop a comment down below. Name this guy. Whichever name I pick, I'll send you a duck's hat, just like this one. Well, it is the next day and we're back. I was like, you know what? Since the traps are firing off, well, hey there, Freddy. Old Freddy, he's along with us today. No, you can't go on top of the building, dude. I figured we'd add to the video and since they're hot, let's check him again. Oh, I say it every time, I'll say it again. Those stairs are no joke. Whew. After carrying up the bait bucket, the camera, they are steep. I need to get in shape, man. Been thinking about it. Bob used to be a big old buff dude. Thinking about getting back into it. Let's go. Anything out here? Anything at all? Nothing. Well, dad gum. Okay. All right, all right. I'll take it. Nope, nothing in that one either. It's been less than 24 hours, but the trapping is on, y'all. A bunch of you have been uh, requesting the trapping videos. A lot of you have been going, Bob, where did the trapping videos go? They're back. The season's here. There's a season for everything. Pigeons, they're going to be happening. More pigeon hunts, a lot more pigeon trapping. I'm going to try to get on some new roofs in town because believe you me, there's a lot of roofs to get on. Especially that one right over there. That's a good one. Yeah. A lot of you that were here last summer, y'all seen them stacked up uh, last year. Now we have the big lens too. So if there's a big roost of pigeons over here, we'll be able to use that big lens and zoom in on them. It'll be real cool. So thank you guys for recommending the trap videos. I'm so pumped that you guys like them so much. So be expecting some more. Subscribe if you haven't. We're uh, coming at you guys with three to five videos every single week, but three to four usually. And big shout out to my notification gang, hitting that notification bell on there. It will tell you when I upload, y'all. Little notification, pop right up on your phone, boom. Thank y'all for being here. I'm hoping that y'all are staying safe during everything going on right now. I'm trying to provide the best content that I can for y'all. But until next time. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL, got a girl that keeps it real